Today we are going to learn the art of applying a Belloni skin traction. Belloni skin traction is commonly applied in patients with hip fractures. First we will have to draw an imaginary line starting from the greater trochanter at the hip to the lateral malleolus at the ankle. This line will be used as a reference line for the placement of strapping around the leg. Before applying the straps, we have to cover the bony prominences around the ankle joint which are the medial and lateral malleolus and around the knee joint which is the fibular head. These bony prominences are covered using cotton or foam rubber. Now understanding the placement of strapping around the leg, place these straps starting from the ankle but leave a loop projecting around 5 cm or 2 inches beyond the distal end of the limb to allow free movement of the foot around the ankle joint. The widest possible strapping should be chosen to place around the leg. The strapping is applied on the medial and lateral aspect of the leg. On the medial aspect, the strap should lie just slightly in front of the imaginary line or above the imaginary line and the lateral strap should be placed just below this imaginary line. This kind of configuration helps in internal rotation of the limb which is usually found external rotated in hip fractures. We should avoid any wrinkles or creases in the strapping. Now apply a crepe bandage starting from the ankle joint upwards which should be firmly applied but the bandage should not be so tight that it causes skin or vascular complications. A spreader should be applied to the loop that we have formed and a rope is tied to this spreader. Then we apply weight to this rope to give traction to the lower limb. A maximum of 10 pounds of weight should be applied using this traction. This traction is also known as Buck's traction.